Oh guys, this is the second part of my Harry Potter craze. Um, this is my review on. In in my view, my yeah, this is my third best favorite Harry Potter film, third best. Pizza's Cabal is my favorite. We've seen my previous review. That's the best. That's the best Harry Potter film I've ever made. Second Harry Potter definitely hard part two. This one Hobbit. This is will be Harry Potter Goblet of Fire, the fourth one in the Harry Potter saga. Definitely a good adaptation. In the first review, this film, funny enough, I didn't, I, didn't, I liked it, I didn't love it, like I do in recent years. So this is the first storm in the Harry Potter franchise. It's a basic we follow the saga. Fourth year Harry, Harry Potter's 14 years old, along with Hermione and Ron, and Harry has been inducted to a, a tribal tournament where three wizarding schools compete for the Goblet of Fire. Or try with it, talk to try with a cop. Happens every couple hundred years. Harry gets inducted on the four pretenses. He's a volunteer, but gets set up and he gets accused of, you know, you know, doing on purpose because you have to be in the seventh year, sixth or seventh year to enter the tournament because it's very dangerous. But you, people have died, participants have died in this tournament. People, it's life threatening challenges. It's like, Based on Hunger Games, based on another, you know, Hunger Games type tournament, life threatening, fire breathing dragons, you know, mermaids, sent a lot. A good cast, some good additions to the cast. Madame Mimi is played by another you know, wonderful, and Brendan Gleeson, and by Clark Jr. who's the main tagger of this film, but um, by you know Doctor Who himself. The lieutenant and um, Robert Patterson, I think it's his debut, played one of the participants, um, Sarah Diggory. Some good, some dishes to cast. This is where the, the lieutenant of all the months, played by our scenes, one of my literary turns and, and has a body. And um, also a lot of trials tribulations in this fourth installment. Coffee puberty, the torsion of the mid teens, and love in the air, the U ball scenes, and tension between the characters, and a lot of character development. This film shows a, showcased a lot, of, a lot more character development with the, with the trio as well as so, you know Snape and Dumbledore and Hagrid and so on and so on. Some good special effects as well, especially the Triwizard the Tournament games. And the first time you see Voldemort in his in the in living flesh in his body, actual body. And um the graveyard scene is very good as well. Like I said, David Tennant is a wonderful by Crouch Jr. Benny Glees is wonderful by Diana Moody. It's a really good cast. Miranda Richardson as well as um the reporter from Mr. Reporter, what's her name is? I don't know what the reporter is, I can't remember now. Rita Skeeter. I like this. I like this film a lot. Like, really like this. This is a return of Voldemort. So a lot of happens. This film. A lot of state. A lot of happens. Things get really even darker compared to the first one. Things get really dark. This is where things change for the trio. The worst initially, and things could get better but later on. But it's a turning point in the franchise. I think as well. One more turns and the characters have to find out what they to do next, which will happen in all the things and what and so on. But this is a good storm with the franchise. We got an adaptation. And I must fire Potter fans. Anyways, I love this film. Full price. Can I, no. I don't love it because that's a good band, but it's a, it's a, that's a good storm to the franchise. Anyways, come on, subscribe, guys. Take care. Bye now. Stay here. I'll be back.